I'm Melissa Stockwell. I'm First Lieutenant retired and I live in Chicago. Um, I love our country. Uh, short and simple answer, I uh, had a passion for the American flag at a young age and that turned into love of country and wanting to wear a uniform with a flag patch on my shoulder and turned into joining ROTC in college and then being commissioned and serving my country proudly. It was April 13, 2004. Um, I was, had been deployed in Iraq for only about three weeks. I was part of the 1st Cavalry Division out of Fort Hood, Texas, and I was in the Transportation Corps. So a lot of convoys, being on the road a lot, and um, April 13th, it was just kind of like any other day. I was on a routine convoy from right into, right into Central Baghdad, and about 10 minutes into the, into the ride, we went under underpass. The explosion went off. Um, we, our, my vehicle had hit an IED or a roadside bomb, and um, ultimately result, resulted in the loss of my left leg above the knee and had um, had a combat medic about two vehicles back. He ran up, he saved my life and brought me to emergency surgery right in central Baghdad and um, eventually ended up at Walter Reed and on from there. I've always been a pretty positive person and really I have a, my support network of family and friends is just incredible. So the, the struggles were very short, um, you know, probably wanting to m my after I, you know, it's a traumatic injury, is losing a limb, as a lot of us will, will say, and um, really wanting my body to heal faster than it did, to be able to be up and be independent again, and be walking on my own again, and back into athletics. So really, just probably waiting for the healing to happen. I feel like I've done more in my life with one leg than I ever would have with two, and um, I'm, I'm pretty big into, into triathlons now. And that started with the Challenge Athletes Foundation. They have a subgroup called Operation Rebound, which is a bunch of wounded men and women that they kind of bring around from all over the U.S. to compete in triathlons. So they have an annual triathlon every every October out in San Diego, California, and they brought me out there and said, "You're going to do a triathlon." And I thought, "No way! I only have one leg. I've never done a triathlon. How is this going to happen?" But I crossed that finish line and it just opened my world up to the sport of triathlon. And um, I've been to world championships on the national team and I really live, live a life of sport and it was, through the, it was through CAF and Operation Rebound that really proved to me that I could still be out there doing that. Very proud American, very proud above the knee amputee and um, very happy with life and happy to be here. It's just pretty incredible the way that life has, the way life goes and where it's brought me. So. I would do it again. I think for a lot of us coming back, we're young men and women, we're active, we want to remain active after our injuries and going through such traumatic instances. And these organizations, they really bring people, they, they show you what you're still capable of. Um, you know, I never thought I would, you know, I never imagined that I'd run at the level I am or bike or swim or, you know, cross a finish line, crossing a finish line in a triathlon. You asked me 10 years ago and I had two legs if I'd ever do that and I would say, no way. And here I am, eight years later, having done it with one leg, thanks to organizations like CAF. So they, they prove that um, things are possible, that life goes on and you can still be out there um, missing limbs. The challenge of the mountain bike, the um, being out there with, my, with the other men and women that I've served and gone through similar circumstances, just the camaraderie that's formed there between all the forces and just going through the same, wearing this similar uniform and just kind of being out there together and just the experience of being with the president and just, um, I don't know, I think it's going to be, I've heard wonderful things about it, so I think it's going to be pretty, pretty neat. I've been riding a few years on the road, mountain biking, not, not too long, but it'll be okay.